Hi, it's Lenica from Lens Crafty Live and wanted to share with you uh, this card that I made for a Valentine's swap from a, a face group. Yeah, a Facebook group, sorry. Um, uniquely Robins and Friends, it's called. And it's the first time I'm uh, actually participating in anything Valentine. And it's been quite a challenge because normally I don't really use red. So what I did was actually... Um, uh, well, first of all, I took this piece of paper. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's it's cream, but with a linen structure in there. It's an A4 size, so I just folded it double. So right now it's an A5 sized paper. And I made like a patchwork background. I used some music paper and you can just about see the word serenade there, which I thought was very appropriate for this beautiful romantic image. Now this is actually uh, an image from one of the postcards that I have. I got them recently and they are actually from a kit I'll show you later on because you can purchase these in my Etsy shop. The link is below and uh, I got loads more I'll show you later all the other images that you'll get if you purchase that. Um, so I use that beautiful image it was so romantic and it says a la folie i think folie is kind of you know being crazy something and here it says in french pensez à mon amour uh, qui depuis si longtemps like thinking of my love for such a long time and finally he has arrived so romantic <laughs> so i used the music paper some um uh, the, hmm, graphic paper, I think you call it. We would say checked paper, but it's kind of graphic paper. Again, some music paper, some uh, corrugated card in several places. And here, well, there was a little bit on there, but you can't, I covered it. <laughs> oh, sorry for my fingers, by the way. Just finished this and I used a lot of vintage photo and walnut stain ink. So the walnut stain is all the way around the card. And on some other, I used it also on the corrugated card to make it stand out more. I used it also on these flowers to age them. And this is a, a very old doily that I cut pieces off. And here's another piece. This is a little heart that I had in my stash. And I put a little um, kind of pearl flag bed heart on there so that is 3d that stands out and actually in the centers of these little flowers are also little red pearls use some hessian or um, burlap as well this is just uh, uh, from my how do you call it script stamp uh, on there and here as well what else? This was a little bit of wallpaper. It was red with white dots and I went over it with walnut stain to age it. And I think that's about it. So there you go. The uh, The inside is just plain. So I'll write my, uh, my message in there for the lady I'm going to send this to. I hope she's going to like it. I think it turned out very, very vintagey. So let me show you if you decide you like that picture. And you're still looking for romantic pictures either for anniversaries you know wedding anniversaries or you know valentine's day of course is coming up so uh this is the image that is that came from here so you get that so the these top two are actually the same lady and gent but in different positions as you can see then you get these two also very romantic here are some more again these two same lady and gent but you know in a dancing position here they are like in a mill kissing each other very romantic this one i think is very very pretty oh sorry hit my camera it's in a fan so gorgeous and i have restored all these images so which means i've taken out most scratches and blurs and you know the faces are a bit sharper so you can see them all and so those are the it's like 12 images that you get so these are the images that i've just shown you and uh, you can enlarge them and make them smaller as you wish but i've already added a smaller one for you 
in this uh, in this digital download. So these again are all the same images, but quite a bit smaller. Like, you know, so they are great for if you give gifts on Valentine's Day or tags to put on presents. Here again, a very pretty fan. So that is what you'll get. So hop over to my Etsy shop. There's other beautiful digital downloads in there as well. But I just uh, decided, obviously, since this is a Valentine's Day card, to use this romantic image for this project. So thanks a lot for watching and thanks so much for my loads of new subbies. Um, I'm absolutely delighted. I got a lot more subbies over the last few weeks. So thank you so much for joining me here. I'm glad to have you here. And for all my subbies that have been on here for a long time joining me, thanks so much. I so appreciate you. I appreciate your comments. So please, if you like this video, um, as many others say, give it a thumbs up. I think that's the first time ever I've said that. Give it a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Well, you're already here. So anyway, if you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you coming along on this creative um, journey with me. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Sorry about this. <laughs> Never mind. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>